Donnie and Pod there to scoop it up and score a double whammy. Team Chelsea get the shove to the face. Oh, he's got Pope right on the play. That's his Donnie score! Right to Donnie. Donnie shoots and he king! Uh, here comes Eric, he tries to shuffle the puck and he just sits down. He's had enough of that. Big Keith, Keith throws it at the net, and look at Justice! Wow, that was an amazing play! Look what a play! Welcome back to another classic Terminators matchup! I'm your host, Orion Vincent, and tonight, we got the Terminators versus the Clappers Club! With me, as always, classic co-host, Sean Sanderson. Thank you very much there, Coach! Happy to be here, like always, and we're getting another look at the Terminators This Day and Age Edition. And there's Jordan Scott, number 39, in the goal, in the blue paint, in between the pipes for the Terminators. That's right, Simonson, the Clappers Club with G-Van between the pipes right there. Clappers Club sporting the white jerseys, which looks like uh, a dark, green and black trim with the Mighty Ducks logo. I like their jerseys, Simonson. I mean, I don't like them as much as the Terminators, but they're nice jerseys. Yeah, well, you're probably biased a little bit, Coach, because, you know, you kind of are the creator well, of the Terminators. I do like the Terminators, Simonson. Coach on the ladder, and let's start this game off on ladder cam right away with the Clappers Club gaining the zone of the Terminators, number 92. Kang battling Big Keith. Big Keith prevails. Feeds it right out to Donnie. Donnie back down to Pope. Pope having a look, trying to get a breakout going. Finds Justice in the Terminator zone. Justice gets it out of the zone. Feeds Maxi Pad. Maxi Pad, soft and subtle, coming into the offensive zone. Brings it around to Donnie. Donnie looking for a point man. Big Keith can't quite get it. Takes it on the back end. Feeds it to Pope as a shot and a nice save by G Van. Great play by the Terminators right off the hop. Oh! There's Donnie who rings it into the back of the net to finish the great playoff that I was just about to get into. Yeah. Wow, that was an excellent goal. Yeah, he rung it in like it was New Year's uh, Day, Simonson. Like yeah, here we go. It all starts with Justice there in the neutral zone. Throws it in. Max with the hard work down low. Pumps it around the net. And Donnie's over there. Finds a big Keith. Controls it to hold the zone. Backhand to Pope. Big Papa Pope takes the shot. And then the rebound is picked up there by Justice with a beautiful hook shot oh or pass sorry over to donnie with has he sorry he has the beautiful shot i'm just i'm lost for words it's an amazing play you're lost in thought simonson we've all been there and yeah what a beautiful play the terminator start this one off you know what big keith that was all him there i like how he took that pass kept it in the zone on the backhand and then fed whoever he fed there i can't remember because we've moved on simonson we're back at it here he we are I had to burp, Simon said. Anyways, I'm back now from that burp. And uh, here's Pope in our own zone, looking for the breakout pass again. Finds Justice again. Justice on the backhand sauce, right to Donnie. Donnie gains his own. The Clappers come back. a shot, and he scores again, Simonson. Puts the gun away in the holster and stands there to wait for the boys to give him props. The classic Donnie Sally signature. Number two on the board for the Terminators and for Donnie. Beautiful pass up to Justice in the neutral zone. I'm not sure who sent it. And then back over to Donnie and goes right through the five hole, threads the needle. Ah, the reverse Jordan. And I believe Pope sent that one from his own zone. The breakout this year with the Terminators have been looking outstanding, Simonson. The defense are really pulling their weight for the Terminators. Well, with Pope back there, he oh. really uh, helps get the puck out. And then we got Uncle Bud here chopping guys down and sitting in the box. Yeah, he looked more like an anti-Bud right there, Simonson. He can't be doing that. He's going to he's gonna have to go, <laughs> go to the penalty box, anti-Bud there. You can see, though, he already knows. He's fully aware of what had happened, what he's done. Oh, yeah. Look at the smiles. It's all smiles there. He, he takes responsibility and the Terminators will forgive him, hopefully. Here we are, the Clappers Club have it. There are 53 at the point and cross ice into the slot there. The blue helmet backhand. Jordan with a big save, staying in the butterfly position to hold down the fort. Blue helmet again has it back to 53. Shot big, Eric. Big slim tug with a big block and he's got a breakaway. Number <laughs> six, nine. Awkward oh. as can be. And then a save made by G-Van oh, with the pads. Let's look 
look at that big block and then look at the awkward stride here we go getting those legs not really going <laughs> look at those shin pads just sticking out looking like Bambi almost losing his balance doing the pizza and then cutting to the right and a huge save by G-Van that was one of my favorite slim tug highlights this year so far I'm just glad that he's going towards the net again like he used to because he kind of had a little bit of a standoffish time but he's really coming back yeah yeah he definitely is simon said he's coming back like he smoked dmt and he's coming to life um here we go the clappers club in the Terminator zone, did they score? What just happened there, Simonson? The sneaky weasel, and I'm oh. not talking about the beer, and I'm not talking about the weasels that Jess wax with a blunt side of an axe. Oh, there, sure now does. here we are. It's the one where you slide it right in the side of the post, and the goalie's back. 91, blue helmet there, fires it right at the net. net. Jordan makes the first save, and then he squeaks it past the blocker and the post on the rebound. Yeah, I think that was number 53, Rana, who actually got the goal, Simonson. Yeah. That was a, it was a sneaky weasel for sure. It was Groundhog Day. He was just popping his head up to see what was going on. Doing all sorts of crazy uh, rodent crap. Here we are. <laughs> the, the, the Clappers Club ring it around the Terminator's net. They have possession down low on the far side. Backhand pass out front, and then it's Saved by Jordan, pumps out to the number 19, Gill. Shot from the point, and it gets stopped too. And in the oh. slot, they bury that one. Yeah, number 11, Muddy went. No, that was not Muddy. That was clean as a whistle, Simonson. And we're going to have to run that one back. There's number 19, Gill, with the shot. Max almost blocked it. It might have might have hit him a little bit. Jordy makes an initial save. It's a Muddy right there. Max is hacking him from behind, but Muddy goes top right corner, beats Jordan, glove side. That was a nice one. You can see it might be a little bit of pain from the hacks he was taking from Max. It was a great shot there by number 11 Muddy there and because uh, he got it right beside Jordan's ear and you could see Jordan trying to reach for it but the reactions weren't working. But here's Olsen flying out. Goes to the net. There's oh. Simonson and bangs in the garbage left from the carcass that the eagle flew away with and whatever dropped Simonson's garbage man. Yeah, look at that. Olsen right off the face off. He doesn't win it. The Clappers Club do, but Olsen's faster, quicker, more agile, and there's Simonson. We all know that he has speed. Olsen takes a shot. Simonson just takes out the garbage like Warren threw him all the garbage off the porch, and Simonson had to go bring it to the road there, and that's exactly what he did. Brought it to the road, and it's 3-2. to two. Terminators over the Clappers Club. 3-2. Terminators are leading off here. Jordan with a save. Wasn't quite sure where that one went, but it goes into the corner no harm done and then 53 takes a shot and then that's gloved by Eric yeah gloved by Eric and the Clappers club there still get the rebound in the Terminator zone applying pressure trying to get that goal to tie it back up throw towards the net Jordy makes the save puck bouncing out front Anzinger fluffs it gives chase so does Justice but the puck lands back on the Clappers club stick Clappers club number 92 King making all sorts of moves here and oh big save by Jordy that was a heck of a toe drag fights off the Uncle Bud check Goes and toe drags Ooh. and Zinger so easily and then goes but can't beat Jordan. I think he tried the Forsberg. That was the Olsen special that he tried, but he couldn't pull it off. Anyways, there's Max. Stretch pass right to Brock. Brock getting hooked, but he scores! One-on-one -on -one with the goalie, G-Van. And Brock does the twinkle toll Cinderella, Tinkerbell, whatever you want to call it. He's in a Disney movie with that Sally Simonson. Holy smokes, I love watching Brock the Cock score here. Uh, and there's Max with a good heads up play. Sees Brock streaking. Brock just breaks away, hard as can be. And he goes right oh. upstairs, right where the bed springs are squeaking. Oh, why are they squeaking, Simonson? Because you're jumping for joy because Brock just scored a heck of a goal. That's right. And look at that celebration. It looked like maybe it was the Peter Pan, Simonson. And he took a hit from Jeff. Justice. The boys are absolutely pumped. Justice is all smiles. I think you might go for a kiss right here, Simonson. It looks like it. We're going to cut to commercial. 4-2 to two of the Terminators over the Clappers Club. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with kissing the homies goodnight sometimes, Simonson. Whatever. Oh, as you're oh. talking about kissing the homies, the Clappers <laughs> Club have come back and they are punching the Terminators 
on the scoreboard right here, right now. Okay, look at 24 fights off Big Keith with the arm out to protect the puck and then sneaks it past the glove just over the pad of Jordan. Yeah, that was another sneaky one, Simonson. Jordan should have had that one if I'm going to be realistic here. But nonetheless, good, good play by the Clappers Club, not to take anything away from them. They got it in there and they made it a one goal game here, Simonson. Clappers Club gains his zone of the Terminator again, has a shot, puck ricochets off a Terminator, goes to the corner, far on the right. Uh, puck squirts out to the middle. Maxi pad has it, throws it up front again. No one's there. It just ices the puck, it looks like. I don't know if there's going to be an icing call here, though. There is no icing call. The Clappers Club collect it, come out. They fire it down, and it's near the end of the period. The refs are lazy. They just want to run out the time. They want to go home and drink beers like everybody else. Yeah, yeah, that's what everyone wants to do, Simon. So we're doing that right now. Uh, here's Donnie, gains his own of the Clappers Club, making moves, has a shot and a nice save by G-Van. And there's a whistle, and then they're going to have a little words there. They're, okay, now we cut right back to the action. Jordan has got the puck, and then he covers it up. Ooh, covers it up. Uh, I don't know what was happening there. Keith is uh, wasn't happy, and he's going to give... Number 15, Dolly Wall is shoved. We're going to have to run this back and see why that happened. Are we going to? They're having words, Simon, since. So, yeah, we're going to. Let's have a look at this. Clappers Club throw it out uh, on Jordy so it's no icing. And Oh, right there. I guess Dolly Wall kind of tapped his stick, his glove. But regardless, Keith is doing what you should do on any hockey team is defend your goalie, no matter if it's a love tap or not. Keith's seen him nonchalantly. Look at that little nonchalant shoulder. Well, the thing I, I like about this play here is that it was very nonchalant, casual, you know, and nothing like he, you know, he didn't end up beaking and continuing on. He's just letting him know that he's there, so don't touch my goaltender. Yeah, well, the Clappers Club gave the nonchalant light tap, so Keith gave the nonchalant light shoulder. It's tit for tat here, Simonson. That's why Big Keith is back there for those purposes exactly. And here we are. Terminators have it. Olsen coming out on the far side. Goes Simonson streaking to the net. There's Snipes too. He oh. throws it to the net and is banged in by oh. Simonson, I believe. Simonson gets number two of the night. This is a two-goal game for Simonson already. He's uh, He's been scoring almost every game lately here, Simonson. He's been going to the net. There's Olsen. Look at it. He stops up right at the top of the blue paint. It goes over to Snipes and oh, he's still wow. there. And right there, first save, but Simonson's that garbage man like I was telling you about and he gets the leftovers that Wesley had left there. He, he was really reaching there the way he, it was like a reach around there Simonson but it was a nice reach around it was one of those good ones not one of those bad ones you know we've all had those bad ones uh, I don't know what you're talking about man <laughs> maybe you've had some bad ones but here's the 81 of the Clappers Club takes a shot and Jordan collects that in his glove where he collects pucks on the regular. Yeah, he sure does, Simonson. He's a puck collector. There's Pope deep down into the Clappers Club zone. Warren Barrow's trying to make something happen. Oh, and we got an appearance by Hammer here. Uh, didn't know he was in this game. Hasn't made the highlight reel much. Yeah, he's been in the game the whole time. And there's Warren. He's going for it. But Pope gets it on his stick. And I don't oh, see what's going oh, on in Warren, the background Warren's here. jousting there. He's getting a little bit of... You know, he's fighting with the boss in the office, Simonson. Here we are. Pope tries to get it out, but a clearing attempt is intercepted. And then there's a little wrestling match over here between Big Keith and one of the Clappers Club's players. But Hammer comes out wearing the 55 jersey. Well offside, was slim, but I don't think we'll be able to see it. And Hammer took the shot well after the whistle. And you can hear that the Clappers Club is not happy about that. We kind of, you know, it wasn't part of the play. We missed this, but Big Keith is there getting in all sorts of stuff with the Clappers Club player. And, I mean, it's all smiles. And then look right here, Simonson. There's the whistle, and then there's Hammer. He winds up, and he lightly taps it. He shoots it in, and the Clappers Club is not going to be happy with that, as they shouldn't be. No, I'll that results in an unsportsmanlike penalty. And that's, and that's, what's, that's happening. what's happening to him. And he doesn't know the rules of ice hockey, clearly. Just lacrosse, Simonson. He's got to ditch the lacrosse helmet and put on ice hockey helmet. Helmet. Here the puck comes ringing around the Terminator's net there. It's the Clappers Club. And there's Uncle Bud Ooh. with the stiff arm from behind. And he's going to have to go to the box 
because that one isn't gonna fly. I didn't know Uncle Bud was a football player, Simonson, but he's clearly showing that he could be a top prospect for the CFL right there. Possibly the BC Lions or the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. He fits in just fine in the Terminator's locker room. Thank you very much. <laughs> he's gonna go meet up with Hammer. And so it's a five on three here for the Clappers Club. They win the face off. They have the puck over to 81. Blue Helmet walks right in with a big oh! slap shot and beats Jordan cleanly. Yeah, Rana with the absolute laser. And Simonson, the way that this one was filmed, it was right in front of the camera, so close. Couldn't have gone any better for the Clappers Club player. Look at this. Pass right to Rana and right there. Oh, man. Mike Hag doing his job clear in the front of the net. But Jordy wasn't going to stop that absolute laser beam. Oh, no, that one was labeled yeah. for the top corner on the blocker side. It launched out like one of Elon Musk's rockets or whatever, you know, into the out of the atmosphere. That was a really fast mock whatever. He's going to love that highlight, Simonson. The highlights aren't just for the Terminators. Well, they are. Who are we kidding? Here's anyone. Rana making a move. Has a shot. Nice save by Jordy. Puck out to the far boards. Hammer giving chase. Loses the battle. Number 15, Dollywall. Gives it to Blue Helmet. A little bit of scrum in front of the net there, but Blue Helmet still has it. Hammer running away from the puck. Looking like coach back in uh, the 2010. Uh, Clappers Club playing pass between the points. Feed it down low. Can't see what number it is, but oh, number 88 has a shot and doesn't go through. Number 81, Rana, Blue Helmet, feeds it to Dollywell. Dollywell making moves. Immense pressure by the Clappers Club in the Terminator zone here. Rana gives it right back down to his former, or his Blue Helmet partner. Simonson, take it away. Okay, well, there's a power play still to, that is being had by the Clappers Club. That's why there's so much pressure there on the Terminators. And they're just working the outside. So the Terminators are doing a good job of not letting them get anything towards the net. Let them work around the outside all day. Look at they're going right there, but they're just going to get tired themselves. And uh, they hear Gill, 19, tries something, but he keeps passing to the outside. They fire all the way across ice to the outside there, and Hammer slightly intimidates by looking at him. Oh! They shoot and they score. Finally, they take a shot, and it pays off. Yeah, I'm not too sure who that was. Simon said I didn't see the number. Did you? No, I didn't quite see it, but thank God for the instant replay. Yeah, this it's uh, number 18, nope. Blue Helmet. 88, I 88? believe. Let's it go. Oh, yeah, he absolutely sniped it. Number 88, uh, Rana. Uh, is that That's the same guy who scored that absolute uh, laser from before, it looks like, Simonson. Well, he got another beauty goal there from just out or just inside the circle. Actually, looking at the roster, there's two Ranas here. They could be brothers, cousins, I'm not sure, but they definitely know how to play hockey and can shoot, Simonson. That's clear. Yeah, that, that is, is clear, clear as day. Clear as mud, as they say where you can't see anything. Oh, but Mike Hag drops a stick, and because of that, Coach thought there was something going on and missed Slim's big hit there, but Slim still has the puck. Drop pass to Hammer. Hammer has a shot. Nice save by G-Van. Puck up front. 81, Rana collects the puck from the Clappers Club, trying to move it out of their zone. They do in the neutral zone. Going to one-on-one -on -one with Slim Tug. Takes the outside lane. Brock throws the body. Rana still has a puck. Throws a body against Slim. Hammer going to collect it. A little bit of rough stuff there. You can see Slim attacking him. Uh, puck Gets out to the neutral zone. Brock has it. Gains his own. Has a shot. Uh, G-Van makes a save. Gill from the Clappers Club brings it around the boards. Brock holds it in there. Has a shot. Let's it go. And he scores, Simonson. Brock the cock puts it all the way in the back, hitting the walls of the net. Back from the point. Brock, look at he So he carries it in initially, fires one to the net, and then they get it. They ring it around trying to get it out, but guess who's there at the point? It's Brock Cock. Winds, winds up with a half clap, and then it goes and hits their player in front to flex into the top corner, right upstairs where you're just hanging out. Yeah, yeah, you're just hanging out, maybe smoking a little something. Who knows? Um, did that hit their player in the helmet and then bounce off the helmet in the back of the net? I'm not entirely sure where it hit their player, but I am pretty confident that it did hit their player and changed the direction. There's Donnie with a steal right at the Clappers Club blue line. Nice little curl and then dish to Max over Donnie. Back Ooh. to Justice, backhand shot. Nice save, G-Van. And then my beer is getting warm because I can't drink it. Here's a Justice making moves down low and getting away from slashes and wax. Takes a shot, G-Van keeps that out. And Justice fires some back. Now it's the Clappers Club that come out with it. There it's Blue Helmet working it out of his own zone against two dual Terminators. And then it's 
that's Donnie, it looks like, over there trying to move it over to Justice, but he gets taken down by two Clappers Club. It sure does, Simon said, and you can sit back and enjoy that beer like I have been every time you're talking. I've been, uh, my beer's nice and cold. I've been drinking it. It's almost gone. And we're going to have to run this back and see what happens. Donnie gets shoved by a blue helmet, Rana, and goes down awkwardly. The number 81 Rana. And you can see him down there. He's chirping. He's like, what are you doing, buddy? Like, this is beer league. I mean, we throw some hits sometimes, too. It's just hockey. But when you're on the receiving end of a hit, you're obviously not happy. No one is. Regardless, Simonson, the Clappers Club number 81 Rana is going to go sit for doing Donnie dirty like that. Well, here we go. We got Olsen Eagle gives it over to Chris Pope. I'm jumping up because this looks exciting. But there's Eagle cross ice, shot and then Simonson right into the bread basket of a challenging G van. And there's East oh. Van Mike with a slap pass over to Hammer as the period expires. Yeah, that wasn't much of a Hammer pass, but I mean the period's expired like uh, you know, you you like a girl. Simonson, the period's over. It's time to get right back to fun, funny business, funny stuff. You know what I mean. Yeah, gotcha. It's a biology. Biology class here. I don't know what happened there, but play's going to continue. That Clappers Club number 11, Muddy, gains his own dirty move on Dirty Keith. Goes in. Jordy makes a first save, and number 10, Gil scores, putting the Clappers Club. I don't know what the score is because this is such a high-scoring game, Simonson, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty close, if not tied with us now. But look at that dirty move by Muddy on Keith. Absolutely burned him. Has a shot. Jordy makes an initial save, and the number 10 Gill on the backhand puts it in the back of the net and they're going to go celebrate with a score of Look, 6 to 6 <laughs> Look, big Keith's demeanor. He was hanging his head there because he got beat right away. There. Oh, wait, we got Hammer. Clear cut, breakaway all by himself. He goes and he shoots. Oh. And a huge glove save by g there where he stopped enough of it. Didn't catch it, but bobbled it. But here's Justice, the cheat code, coming on the wing. Cuts in hard. Fires oh. one, and then the big pad flies out. The white marshmallow stops, and Justice with a little... Juggles of the puck, Anzinger gives it away. It's a breakaway for 15, and Pope comes flying in to save the day without taking a penalty, but then oh. they manage to score a goal with the rebound bobbling everywhere in the slot area. Well, Simonson, the Clappers Club just took the lead on what we've seen was the Terminators fail, starting with Anzinger right there, an absolute whiff. Gives it away to Dolly Wall number 15. Excellent work by Pope. He didn't get the tripping call because Dolly Wall didn't go down. Dolly Wall spins around. Anzinger cannot get his legs working for the life of him. And look at that pass. And Dolly Wall just knew what to do with it. That was a beautiful goal by the Clappers Club. The Terminators just look disgraceful there. Mainly Anzinger Simonson. I'm going to pin this one all on him. But they call him the Walking Dead for a reason. And he just showcased it right there. He's going to be going home, and he's going to have to be watching the tapes on loop to see what he has done <laughs> wrong there. Here we go. Olsen breaks through off the faceoff, throws one out front to Snipes, but he can't snipe. And he throws oh. another one right into the diving, sprawling G-Van, who is the savior of the Clappers Club so far. Another faceoff win by the Terminators. Olsen back to Pope on the point. Slap shot. There's the rebound, hey. and that one... It is Schwarzenegger! MJ! Is that MJ, Simon? MJ! I think that is. Michael. Michael B. Jordan, or whatever you want to call him. Uh, but he's white. Uh, there's Olsen. Gives it to Pope. Pope winds up. Big save by G-Van. And then Michael with the rebound doing what Simonson does. Look, Simonson was right there, ready to collect it on the other side. So I like that, how both of the wingers were on both sides, ready to collect garbage. And one way or another, it got taken out, Simonson. It did. It did. Look at the score of this game. We've got a touchdown and an extra point for each team here. Ooh. And there we go, Michael MJ takes the shot and it goes over the net. Olsen's over there to pick it up on the top of the circle there and it's fired to the net by Simonson. It's a rebound and MJ back to the point who's Pope, that's the guy. Shot, another pad save kicked out to the near corner here and the Clappers Club clear it out of the zone and it's Brock there to have it, to hold it down and restart the break in. And he gives oh. it away on the attempt. 92 comes oh. in and beats Jordan on an absolute Brock failure where he was not 
so hard. No, he was soft as Play-Doh here, Simonson. Didn't take his Viagra, didn't have a Cialis prescription, and just gave that puppy away. Right to number 92, and look at 92, Kang just snipes that one home. All because Brock could not perform for the life of him, Simonson. Well, those times when you get those opportunities as a player where the puck just comes out and it's a gift and it comes right there and your eyes go huge and there's like the confidence goes through the roof. There's no way you're missing that one. Uh, no, there's not. And obviously, Brock had no confidence, no self esteem there. He just couldn't perform, Simonson. He couldn't get the job done. It was the no look. He just went for oh, it. Oh, Donnie just gets absolutely leveled right at the top of the goaltender's crease but he pops back up and we got a whistle we do and we had justice almost try the michigan and yeah that's gonna be a penalty let's have a look at here number 14 oh no oh that was a huge hit by 53 rana you can see donnie's a little dazed and confused and look at justice there gets the puck and almost goes for the michigan i wish he would have got that time in because in all my years of filming hockey i haven't filmed the michigan yet that's all right there's many better plays than the michigan here we go pope has the puck i want mine comes in and he gets stood up at the line and now comes back Donnie has it he's looking to get the Terminators breaking out he tries to get it passed up but number 10 of the Clappers Club come in and loses the oh. puck and then from behind East Van Mike knocks him down and I think there's going to be a penalty right there for that that's an East Van thing right there Simonson they're rough and tough and let's have a look at Pope here first of all throwing the huge hit on number 10 Gill they collided then in the other end you see Donnie gave it away but we're past that Gill making moves he loses it actually and then East Van Mike uh, his skates kind of collided. I don't even know if he got the cross check off. Maybe their skates collided, and he's going to complain on that. But like you told me a couple games ago, if your skates get in the way of theirs and it's your fault, you're going to sit for tripping. And he's also facing the boards the other way. I mean, he had no idea. He's coming. Simonson makes a move, gives it to Olsen, who knows better moves. And then he takes that and uses some of them to his advantage. Gives it to Pope. Pope with another clapper, low and oh. hard. And that hurts the ankles. That hurts number 19, Gil. Pope does it again. And that hurts him even more, Simonson. That's he's, a double whammy. He's letting him have it. So there's the first one the ankle breaker and right away there's a rebound there pope comes again and what does he do he's like i'm gonna get you again oh, but look at the endurance and the 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 perseverance of 19 gill to do that for his team i respect that simon so not a lot of beer league players do that you've so props to you number 19 gill you've got to give that to him for sure all day there's a shot blocker saved by jordan into the corner clappers club come up with it but brock takes it away and he does a couple of moves rings it around on the near side in the terminator zone but there's no winger there to get it it's hammer that's supposed to be there or somewhere i don't know but the clappers club have it they go to the slot they have some moves but it doesn't work out for them here we are down in the corner brock with the possession of the puck over to evm who sends it up the middle oh, in his no. own zone which is never a good idea oh no, he's fed mike what are you doing? He's going to break his stick there, Simonson. He's just as mad as we are watching this back, except we can laugh about it because this isn't in the heat of the moment like it is for East Van Mike at this time. Look at this. East Van Mike trying to feed Warren. I don't know whose fault that is, but uh, you don't feed it up the middle, so it's East Van Mike's. And then Kang goes five-fold. We almost going to happen. And then East Van Mike smashes his stick, breaks it. That's $200 right there for you, bud. That's a rough one there, yeah. Try to just get, like, I seen the pass that he was trying to make to W balls there, right? But uh, that one's got to be on the tape if you're going to do that yeah. because Warren had to uh, take it out of his skates and he couldn't control it, but the other player was right there. And then you got all those Terminators going that way and then it's hard to turn around and go back. If you would have got the boards, it would have been fine. But again, Simonson, in high-pressure moments, you don't think like that. You just throw the puck away. I've done it many times. Play continues in the Clappers Club. Fight, battling with it down low. Terminator's trying to make something happen. Get back up. Pope has a shot, and ping! Score, Simonson! I, that was a really nice goal. I don't think there's much time left, though. The Terminators are down by a pair. Now I think they're down by one here. Let's have another look at this. Holy smokes. That was a heck of a play there, Pope. He's been firing shots from the point all day. Ooh. He gets to the top of the circles there. He looks up, and he just labels that one bar down into the net. Zesty. Like you could hear the ping. 
so hard with authority. It's nine to eight for the Clappers Club. With 10 seconds left on the board here, Simonson. Justice wins the face up all the way down. Terminator is going for some sort of flying V, all attacking a Donnie, pushing it out front there, and the Clappers Club get it out of their zone. Great effort by the Terminators there, uh, but this is going to end their, what, 14 game winning streak that they had, Simonson? This is very true. The Terminators were on an absolute heater of 14 game winning streak and this is the end of it this game right here in a real action filled high scoring game 9 to 8 for the Clappers Club beat the Terminators and what a game yeah well nothing lasts forever Simonson but I mean I really enjoyed that heater that the Terminators were on and I give it up to the Clappers Club this was an excellent game uh, they played great Simonson they were the better men here tonight in this uh, PAL Division 4 or 5 game, whatever we're at. That's right, Beer League, which is terrible in middle class.